again thank you uh, chairman and commissioners for this opportunity um, I'm a rural, rural Latah County resident my name is Gresham Bauma and uh, and uh, when the prior commission met, uh, they stopped in Moscow, and quite a few of us rural, rural residents of Laytow County uh, indicated that we, we felt like we were a community of interest with, with uh, other rural interest, uh, residents around us uh, in Benoit County and so forth. And I'm here tonight to, to, uh, to support one of your maps. Um, I think it... it it's really unfortunate to take the narrow part of Idaho and divide it lengthwise. It makes no sense to me at all to make a big uh, ultra tall district that you have to go in and out of to, to get from one end to the other. And so some of the, some of the more recent maps have done that. And, uh, and I think uh, the district should be as geographically cohesive as possible. And I think L82 does that better than any other any other map. It does separate Moscow from the rest of rural Lata County. Um, but uh, as somebody else noted earlier, we, we, uh, we have an awful lot in common with the rural residents of Benoit County and, and Shoshone County. And uh, we, we tend to make our livings the same way and, and uh, value some of the same things. Uh, you won't find us out protesting in the streets when when uh, um, the the equipment that's intended for um, the megaloads mega come through because because uh, we know that we need uh, oil and gas to survive we make our living using the fuel and uh, we absolutely need it we can't ride our bicycles and make a living and uh, and the people in Moscow don't seem to understand that. Uh, they seem to want to do anything they can to make it more expensive to, to do business for the oil companies. And we, do, we don't feel that way for the most part. Um, we'd like to survive out in the county. Um, and so, I, as I said, um, uh, uh, mostly I'd just like to express concern about the, the big tall district that itself may not have been gerrymandered, but seemed to indicate other gerrymandering going on in the districts around it, and, and that created a district that was just really unwieldy. And, uh, and L82 avoids that. And uh, if you were a blind guy and didn't know anything about the political interests, I think you'd choose L82 and, and uh, not the other ones that create a, a kind of a grotesque district here in North Idaho. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, one question. You, you, yes, sir. you do live in Lake Talk County, eastern, yes. the, eastern, uh, western, eastern end of Lake Talk County. Uh, no, I just live a little north of Moscow. Okay. In, Okay. Lake County, right. and and you know the split that occurred. Uh, one of the maps splits just the eastern portion off from the rest of it. Uh, really, no, there's no separation in terms of community of interest there. Whereas if you do take Moscow and put it with Lewiston, um, there is you know a community of interest separation going on there that makes sense to us. And, and it doesn't divide, I, I think it's really unfortunate to divide the cities themselves and it avoids that. Um, it divides the county, but it looks like it minimizes county splits overall as well. And uh, as I said, you know, just looking at the maps, you can, you can see what's going on. And, and uh, when the map gets really funny looking and odd shaped, uh, it doesn't, it indicates that that somebody's playing politics, I think, as one of the prior commission members admitted, saying that uh, he wanted to kind of preserve influence in the parts of the state where they had it. And so, uh, anyway, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.